I must stress how thrilling it can be to watch Shodai outside of Tokyo. As Osaka showed, to say provincial fans like him is understating. As Nagoya showed, they raise the roof for him, especially when he's in trouble. Against Kotonowaka, he froze, fumbling for a pull which never came. His head to head now 0 and 4. He was then caught in a right hand sling and propelled to the rope by Takanosho, who has won their last five bouts. And a soft attempt to slice right hand inside saw him caught in clutches, then swiveled to defeat. His second one straight to Kiribayama. Thus was Shodai 0 and 3 for the third tournament running. How it wasn't 0 and 4, Horshaw you might explain. Outstanding Shodai rope work, one reason. The roars of the crowd, another. Firm belief in inside left seemed to reap rewards. But his fifth day plan could scarce get going, as a clunking arm block and clamping outside right had him one and four for the third meet straight. Given Mitake Umi's parallel plight, would two thirds of Ozeki fall? Not a chance with this crowd. Fervent pursuit of both arms inside caused Dai Eisho to flee and lose his footholds. <laughs> While this stupendous parry had the July leader scurrying and hurrying into a pull most unwise. Then the fans grew wilder, willing Tamawashi to botch his finish and getting their wish. His hands giving Shodai an upward scrub before flying to nowhere and neglecting defence. Cue the loudest cheers of the event to that point. <laughs> and the Ozeki escaped again the following day, amid the shrieks, luring Abi in for the crossbody parry. Short Eye was on a roll. A fifth straight victory came courtesy of a left hitting upwards through Uda's arms and clinging on tight with shoulder support. <laughs> then a swinging left held off Endor's drive and set up the right for the push.
By now, as ex Sekiwake Kotogaome might say, anything he tried just came off. Even a headlong rush into Aoyama's chest, inviting a pull which would succeed nine times from ten, only not on this day. Shodai had his eighth win without judges debate. His rank saved, he promptly lost here, dealt the full force of Takakesho's running charge and frontal pull. But on day 14, he did this to fell a second joint leader. This one for the first time in seven tries. And floor cushions flew. He rounded things off with a fifth win in six over Ozeki hopeful Wakataka Kage. Swerving in with the right, bouncing off the right knee, and once breaking the grip, coming down on the neck for his best score in 18 months. That kind of sumo is what I should be doing, Shodai later said. Relentless forward pressure. It's just so disheartening to only fight like this long after leaving the title race. True, I began July against men who often trouble me, but I must put this right in September. The second anniversary of his title, no less. He was two wins away from the cup here. That should inspire.